Bonsoir les amis, this is Leanne Stanfield and you can find me at parisianfrench.com Tonight I want to start a series, oh I didn't write episode 1, so I'm going to write episode 1 in the description. Um, it's a series about the relative tenses in French which are much 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 easier than uh, the regular tenses that we tend to learn first. Um, and so, uh, I would like to have your feedback um, on this, so I'm going to start very small uh, today and I would like you to add in, to pitch in with your, anything that you'd like to see from, from this. Uh, but first I would like to know your level. So I would like to know, do you know the relative tenses? Do you, you don't care about them? Um, you don't really know or you have never heard of them so please let me know because based on what you are telling me you um, are going to give me a lot of material so that i can create um the, the rest of videos for this week so um and including uh the webinar on sunday so the relative tenses what i want to give you tonight is um, like an overall and why do you need do we need them and when do we need them so the relative tenses are three um, and they're much, much easier to conjugate um, than um, all the other tenses in French. And um, so they are passé récent, présent actuel and futur proche. And if you don't know them by name, I'm going to give you an example. For instance, je viens de manger, I just ate, je suis en train de parler, I am speaking. And je vais écrire. I, I am going to write. And so what I want to tell you tonight um, is one very important thing. When do we use them? How do we use them generally? And why? Um, well, first of all, because they have this relativity. They have this immediacy, right? So they're immediately one after the other. They're relative to each other. And... Um, Secondly, what I want to say to you is that most of the times, if you know already a little bit about them, you know that most of the times teachers or courses explain these relative tenses as if we need to have them, the actions need to be within 24 hours. And so I heard this many, many times, and this is wrong. They are relative to each other, meaning that... Um, if, for instance, I'm talking about dragonflies, then the actions are going to be within 24 hours because the dragonflies don't live longer. If I'm going to talk about, for instance, I'm going to tell you I have a mentorship for this year and I had just finished um, another uh, mentorship or course, let's call it course, for last year. And so what I'm going to say to you is going to be, I just finished this mentorship and I registered for the next one, but I'm talking years here, right? You see how that goes? And so if I'm talking like the universe, you know, about astronomy, I'm going to talk about millions and millions of years. And so they have to be relative to each other, as in like the action. Typically is about the action in the present. If you have, you don't have an action in the present, now you would. So the action in the present must have kind of the range, uh, the same range in the time range as the other actions in the passé uh, récent or future uh, futur, uh, proche. So that's all I wanted to tell you today, but I really wanted to uh, ask you to please write in the comments below and let me know what is your level, what are in your interest level, your level for this, your interest level um, about this um, relative tenses and I am going to um, tailor, uh, custom tailor <laughs> tomorrow's, web, uh, tomorrow's video and the whole week's uh, videos based on what you've been telling me. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't ever give up on your dream to become bilingual. Learn to speak Parisian French and break the language barrier. Merci beaucoup et à demain.